Okay, uh, so let me talk about uh, section three. So it's about polymer solution and the characterization. In this section, I'm going to talk about osmotic pressure, which is related to number average molecule weight. So far, we have talked about polymer dispersity and the polymer shapes and size, and talked about the radius of gyration and end-to-end -end distance and the, the random walk model. But now, uh, really about something about the characterization one, the first one is we want to characterize a molecule weight or molecule weight distribution or different types of average molecule weight. So in order to, for us to do this performing uh, this kind of experiment, we need to dissolve the polymer in a solution. So this is a very important uh, basic concept, and I want you to get uh, get familiar. So we want to uh, calculate uh, or well, characterize the polymers, and the polymer samples has to be dissolved in a solution at a specified concentration. So let me talk about concentration symbol that we use C. So this concentration in polymer concentration. is different, is not the same as what you normally know as molar concentration. This one, you're probably familiar with this kind of concept, mole per liter, that's for your H plus concentration, OH minus concentration, and all the uh, small molecule concentration that you do know the exact molecule weight. But however, uh, the polymer-wise, you prepare the polymer at a known, you can measure the mass, and you can measure the volume. And that is your concentration C. So it is not uh, not the same. Actually, the, what is actual whole purpose is trying to relate the mass with number of moles, right? And quote, unquote, if you're ever able to figure that out, and you should be able to calculate eight types of uh, average molecule weight. And if you actually simply focus yourself to count the number of moles and uh, and uh, the for a given known amount of mass that you can weigh using your scale, and that ended up you're calculating mn, okay, mn bar, it's a number of average molecule weight. So that's what I'm going to talk about. So always keep that in mind. We are using concentration C. The concentration C, what is the unit? You can say gram per milliliter, gram per deciliter, and so on. So you guys can choose to uh, the unit of volume of your preferences, but it is a mass uh, that we are using uh, for, for the concentration per volume, not the moles per uh, volume, okay? So let's talk about the osmotic pressure and the number average molecule weight. And this is a, typically the diagram that uh, I, I show here. And you might remember talking about osmotic pressure in your uh, physical chemistry class. It is known as colligative properties. So that depends on the number of moles of any kinds of solute. And then you're using sort of the what is called semi-permeable membrane. So it is a membrane that you, you see here. I actually shown up here. And the solvent can go through, but if you have a polymers on here, this side, uh, they cannot go through, but only the solvent can can go through, but not the polymer. So therefore, solvent is free to move around. These are the solvent, if I want to call it as a dot. They are free to move around, but not the, not the salt, um, not the solute. Okay. So here, solute is your polymer chain which is big enough, they cannot pass through the uh, semi-permeable membrane. So therefore, only the solvent can pass through, and solute, which is a big polymer, cannot pass through, 
that is uh, really the scenario for the osmotic pressure experiment. And I already give you a, a kind of the, the the plot that people put, and essentially they plot the data osmotic pressure divided by CRT. Okay, and then the, this is a one the concentrations. As you can see, concentration they use gram per milliliter, and this is the one that I want you to work out with your the homeworks but make sure that you understand what you're dealing here because if you do that pi, pi usually let's say i'm talking about the, just the unit here without going to the details pi is an atm concentration is let's say gram per i would say liter so i want i want to change that into a unit and then you are going to use uh, 0 0.082 atm liter mol kelvin, right? And then you are using the temperature in a unit of kelvin. So it all kind of cancel out. You ended up getting mol per gram, right? So this one looks like inverse of gram per mole right? so that's uh, so whatever you you find out over here this this one is actually one over molecular weight for this kind of plot using x axis it's a concentration y axis pi over CRT so the equation of the day that I I think the I want I can talk to you is uh, this this is an osmotic pressure equation that I, I am going to uh, walk you uh, and then discuss you today. Uh, but like I said, this is an equation that actually will be given for typ typically it can be found in many textbooks. Also, I used to give out in the in the e exam class. So make sure that the when you look at the equation, make sure you understand the components of what you are dealing here before to derive an equation or understand the equation. The first step to uh, for this understanding this physical equation is has something to do with essentially uh, understanding the unit. So the I guess the most easy one is here, right? This equation shows one over molecular weight. That means mole per gram, right? So everything should be mole per gram. This one should be mole per gram. And I think I already showed you that. This one is a mole per gram, and that's obviously a mole per gram. Now, it's now come to the new quantity. This is what I told you, that something called B times C. And B is what we call second virial constant okay and the concentration what unit do we use is a gram per or let's say liter or milliliter okay so here I'm going to use a gram per milliliter and then therefore you can understand that second burial constant has a unit which is a mole per gram and then you need to inverse that, which is a milliliter gram. And he has a very interesting, funny unit, which gram square mole and let's say cubic centimeter. Okay, that's a unit of uh, second burial constant, and it is a measure of solvent quality. actually quantitative okay. so I'm going to talk about a little bit detail uh, later on when I when I talk about actually plot shown up uh, on this on this side okay so uh, in just uh, I, I think that I, I want you to get familiar those when you after you measure the osmotic pressure measured by concentration and then uh, RT, 
and then this one will give you the mol per gram so that is your experiment and then then you certainly can change your concentration and gram per milliliter for example and then what you do is you you made a tables of data pressure divided by CRT and that is a typical data and then you do the extrapolation and this one is what is called the 1 over number average molecular weight and slope here is second barrier of constant that you're going to see. So this kind of uh, osmotic pressure is uh, important. Not only you can calculate the number average molecular weight, but also you can uh, quantify how good the solvent for it is for dissolving the particular polymer that you see. Now, there are uh, many types of different solvents that you can dissolve your polymer sample, but some of the uh, solvent is better than the other. Okay. So, in the next video, I wanted to show you how the equation can be derived.